So just a quick video, uh, <laughs> just kidding. but you get into the bee season, you don't about have time for anything else, but very quick video. Um, <clears throat> we're re having to requeen about 400, 500 of our hives, just uh, annual requeening. And so just putting protectors on the cells before we put them out in the yard. And uh, I'm gonna keep doing this just so they don't get cool. And then I'll show you a little bit more of the, uh, the setup and just, just the ingenuity. Of okay, this. so once again, here's a little overview. These cell protectors, put the queen cell in here. And the reason these are so awesome is that with these two little ears, it's so easy to either put them into a frame or put them between frames. And then this little guard here helps protect uh, the cell from being torn down either by bees or the original queen or any other virgin queens. And obviously, you know, the only opening is the bottom for when the queen cell hatches. And then you can buy these battery, these battery bars that they go in. And uh, they're just really, really handy and then you can put your you know cells in here as far as transporting the cells because we only have three yards to do and we're going to go through them pretty quick um all i've done is just filled up a ziploc bag of hot water and uh, the ideal temperature whoops it's dripping the ideal temperature you want is around 90 90 degrees and uh, I've seen guys use hot water bottles. And then I've also seen guys that have units that actually plug into their cigarette lighter that they can keep in the truck. So, I mean, it's sort of, um, you know, and if you're gonna be out all day doing queen cells, that would be really important. But at the same time too, you can do quite a few, like we're gonna be throwing cells into, what is it, 112, doing, roughly a little over a hundred colonies today. Uh, and uh, yeah, and real quick too, I've shown this in other videos. This is our incubator. It's for growing cultures in a lab, but you'll see these things come up for auction. Uh, this is the smaller one. And then we've got this two door unit one, which I haven't <clears throat> fired up here yet and probably won't have to this year. But uh, yeah, anyways, and so that's it. That's, that's them, that's the cells that are going out today. And then when we get back to the home yard, I've got a bunch of cells to pull from our cell builders. And we'll do, you know, at some point, I'll do a little bit more of an educational video on queen rearing. We, we do have some if you check the channel stream <coughs> or the uh, playlist on queen rearing. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, it is one of those things that you can spend a lifetime perfecting, but it's also one of those things that if you're in your second, but probably third, fourth year of beekeeping, you can just start, just get involved in it. Go start grafting, practice, and just, uh, just jump into it. Uh, but definitely best, definitely ideal to find a mentor or somebody that can show you in person just so you can kind of see uh, the component and then as far as how you raise queens there's quite a few different variations that you can use but uh, anyways catch you later